Hello everyone in the good wide world. Going to dive into a little more of streaming with Horace in just a second. As my dogs are making a ton of noise, chewing on bottles. Hopefully it's not picked up too much on stream, but having corgis in the room while I'm streaming, it's comforting, it's good. And you know, if anyone ends up saying, hey, want to see some corgis? I will happily oblige. I mean, I think, nope, barely can't get them on stream. They're just below the camera height. Anyways, though, let's not waste time. Let's get into some Horus. My stream seems to be in good health. I really want to see where this game is going. When we last left off, we had some crazy Alice in Wonderland stuff going on. We're trying to track down Alice, who is one of our friends from the long ago. Turn up my volume a little. <clears throat> and I honestly, oh yeah, we left off with a first person shooter mode. Oh, oh, okay, what are the actions? A button is point. That seems to be all of it. This game is insane. Wait. Okay, so they are mirrored both walls. That's when I rescued her. Call that one for sure. Well, that's a sad memory right there. Whoa! I don't want to go that way. Mm, I don't want to go either way on this. Um. Sorry, I'm looking at. Okay, <laughs> my stream manager on Twitch was going kind of weird. It said my session had zero minutes. Zero minutes being quite a few less than I have done so far because I have been streaming for about five minutes. Luckily, it came back. It now says five and a half minutes. It's going to be one of those streams, isn't it? Anyways, let's continue on. Hey, Horace, which way do you want to go? That way or that way? Oh, you like seeing yourself. All right. Got it, Horace. Oh, that was a good memory. That was a good guy. Um, <clears throat> that ain't a good memory. That was. Except Horace getting angry because those kids were beating him. All right, that is a bunch of dead ends. There is no. Whoa. So there is a speed up button. Still have a run button. Whoa, that's a big robot. Is it wrong I don't recall that or is that like, okay, I recall that one. Let's, let's go this way. There is good memories and bad memories, and some of these are not good ones. All right, we'll go. That is a bad memory. Okay. Okay. We're. Well, guess what? It's October, right? So let's look at some spooky stuff, like a bunch of skeletons. All right, tell me I'm out of this, because it's... Okay. Oh no! Okay, you only last a short bit.
Well, come on. Okay. We got this. We got this. Come on. We got this. Oh, that ain't good. Oh! Okay, we got this. Oh boy. This is going to be some difficult platforming, I bet. Quite difficult. All right. I have a bad feeling if I die, I'm going to be going all the way back to the very beginning of this room. Oh, yay, doorway. Oh, this, this game just wants to keep throwing some difficult puzzle platforming at me. Um... Um, I have a feeling I just soft walked the game. Okay, we are going to quit to the title. I'm going to have to do that room again, aren't I? Oh. Oh boy. Ready, go. Okay, that wasn't cool. Oh well, if a game glitches like that once, I really, I can't complain. It's still a good game. It's still a good game. And it gave me a checkpoint halfway through this area which I consider that a very good game. Giving more checkpoints than... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Let's wait until I deflate. There we go. That is a little better. Oh yeah, I was entirely forgetting I can walk on walls. All right. Oh no, oh no, that was all on me. That was entirely on me. Okay, I run at the same speed as these things. Oh no, that, I got greedy. I got greedy there. Okay. Two, three. Oh, boy, whoa, okay. Okay, Horus. Oh, that ain't good for Horus. What is going on right here? Okay, go snowboarding. Hey, do you mind not shaking the screen so much? Okay, uh, 
Queen, can you stop shaking the screen? Whoa, okay. Did I win? Oh no, it's Caddy. Cross the road and get the cats before the steamroller. Hey. Lady, I ask you kindly stop shaking the screen. Oh. Seriously, quit shaking the screen, lady. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Crazy Caver, you are Caver Dick Todger. Find the treasures and exit before your air runs out. Oh. Oh. Oh, don't do that. No. No, oh, no. I, the controls are a little different than being there. Fly free as a bee as you search for treasure and a way back home. There's a... Wow, this is just like being there. I like how the enemies are still telephones. Okay. Oh no! Lady, quit shaking the screen. She, that queen is playing pretty dirty right there. Okay, I missed one treasure. That's okay. Okay, crazy caver again. Alright. We are not getting out of this. I think I've got dogs going crazy in the room behind me. Oh, come on. I should have had that. No. If I go full speed right here. Good deal. Oh, okay. That jump went a little stronger than I... Okay. No. Okay, I don't like how the controls reverse when you go upside down.
Oh, come on. I'm so close. No! I do not care for these controls. This is like the first time in game where I'm just like... This... These controls are horrible. Nope. I do not like those controls. Really, you're going to make me be there again? I don't want to keep... Do I need to keep doing this for a long time? Because... I am not... Enjoying this... Well, I don't mind this too much. It's a little aggravating her moving the screen like that. But the only part I'm really not digging on this... I've lost a few frames. The only part I'm not digging is that crazy caver. The controls are horrible on it. When you go upside down, left and right get reversed. times do I need to go through this stuff? I don't mind this too much because I used to play free, ski free as a kid on Windows. You're just going to demand that I finish this, aren't you? Okay, let's do it this time. I ain't even worrying about the gems. Okay, try and get that jump is annoying. I went too close. No, wow. Oh, I need to get that door. I did not realize that door was the exit. All right, I've got this. Let's finish this one. <clears throat> Last adventure, Dentetsu. Dentetsu. Save the kingdom from the evil queen. Use this to light your way. The caves are dangerous. got there. Oh, are you? You're hiding. Okay. What we get here? Oh, all right. Holy ice sword.
Oh! You can take multiple hits. <clears throat> what do I get here? Narrow lamp? Alright. Oh boy, that is dumb. All right, magic key, use it to unlock the magic door. I need a better sword than the ice sword. Oh boy. Well, I got a one up. Nope, TNT kills you. That, I would like a little, oh. Mm hmm. Okay, let's open the door. Get that. What do I get? Wand of fire. Shoot fire from. All right, let's set off the TNT. Okay. Now we know what's up. Okay, you're just making this really hard now. Achievement unlocked, Wonderland. Wonderful, wonderbar, wonderbar. King Horus. Look where I found at the train station, said a distant voice. For some reason they were all dressed as wizards. The light guard shouted the voice. Stop. <coughs> What is explain what was going on while the man swiftly put my head back together? What the and this is Simeon, said Alice. The man insisted I called him Sim and apologized for attempting to hack my CPU. <coughs> Alice laughed and said, Sorry, Sim came to sneeze whenever he's stressed or nervous. I was worried you were like other robots. I'm glad you're okay though. I've had mixed results in the past. Um. This is Betty, said Sim, and this <coughs> idiot was Fluffers. It's like they're our children, said Alice, although it's strange, it was them that sort of found us. And even before Sim had reprogrammed them, they were kind of nice to me. Betty even tried to clean up some of my rubbish. So, said Mr. Silton, the reason we're visiting is our little robot friend wants to see Heather and her mum again. Plus he tells me that there's some sort of problem with escaped nanobots in the old house. <coughs> Alice looked puzzled. What do you need me for then, she said. I'm assuming you've not broken the habit of a lifetime and thrown away Sim's security pass. Sim smirked at Alice. It'll be here somewhere, Mr. Silton smiled. 
Excellent. He said, then I presume you've still got that video camera you stole when you were working on Richard and Judy. Soon guided us down as... Oh, I thought I was going walk, well, and if you press left, that pauses. This is quirky hobby, beside as he flipped the light on, we've still got everything. Mr. Silton smiled, then he said, I think I've got a plan. <laughs> Why is Sim so stressed about all of this? Who in the world am I? Ah. Oh. That's the great puzzle. Charles Ludwig Lewis Carroll Dodgson. Although I would have loved to have stayed in Alice's picturesque town, it was time to get back on the train and continue my quest. And we've got the friends. We've got Seinfeld. the new in the arcades just making sure hey Sai glad you're out there watching and yeah if you're quiet tonight it's all good hope you're having a good night though so far I am just being confused by this game because it's always confusing but it is a really cool game well, I cannot afford any of this good stuff right now Now then, said the dirty up there's nothing of that go on then. I don't have much in here, I don't think. Ah. Uh, I still want to know how... How do I get up there? I need to close this gate, I think, so I can walk up. But, you know, if I look up there... Oh, there we go. Yeah, there is... I don't see any way to get up there. I guess if this gate here in the middle opens, and this one can close, we might be able to jump up there. Maybe I come back here later. I would need a ticket to get through the fairgrounds automatic doors. You know what, there's a discount for buying a lot of tickets, so let's just go ahead and buy 12 of them. Because I have a feeling I'm going to keep buying tickets. Please don't kill me. Yeah, I knew it'd kill me. Alright, anything pick up here? No, no rubbish. So, alright, we're heading towards Factory 10. It should be... I don't even know what I'm doing in the game right now. Okay, it's where Professor's Factory is, alright. And off the train we go. Began to fall as I stepped off the train onto the deserted platform. The station looked as if it hadn't been used in years. There were no conductors, no ticket barriers, not even an up-to-date timetable. The place was like a ghost town. Alright, never anything on the side of the train station. But we will explore Factory 10. Look at some of the movie posters. Rambo of the Bailey. Ben Her Her Her. Can I pick that up? Nope. I was hoping I could have picked that up. Nope. What is this help wanted? Okay, it's the brick maker. I should have plenty of money at this point because of Sanford and Son. Conveyor belts. Oh, okay, it dropped my input. 
glad to see dropping input still happens. Let's go through this door real quick, just so I have a checkpoint. Because I want to make sure I get all of this garbage. And a shield. Never going to complain about getting a shield. Continue getting my garbage. Oh, don't want to miss out. Come on, grab that can. Wish I could get that vacuum, because I could swear I remember the, the shop had a vacuum. Oh, duck down. And junk combo. That almost dropped my input. What have we got here? Ooh, go through here first. Bunch of junk up there. Oh, oh, my shield. Is this where I came from. Yeah, it is. Cleaning professional. That's a good achievo. I think Horace would be proud of being a cleaning professional. Whoa, I just did a weird whoop-de-whoop -whoop round. Okay, I need to get up there. Back over. All right. Okay, I think I want to be on this side. Get that garbage. Whole bunch more garbage. Pop that open. Get my shield on. More garbage. I'm going to have a loop around. Whoa! Oh no! Um, wait. Um, I'm, uh, that, I guess it shouldn't be a big surprise that, oh, poop. Okay. Nope. Ah. Ah. All right. We could do this better. We are going to do this better. Okay. Get that shield back. Okay, we do not want to... Alright. Do not fall into space. Oh boy, big jumps. Big jumps. Big cleanups. Solomon Automaton, so it looks like that's where I've got to go. 
Was the old man's name Solomon? Because I don't think they ever told me what his name was. I guess maybe he was Solomon. The security system jumped to life. I knew the only way it could be activated was to destroy power source. That's when I spotted a perfect shiny surface. Maybe I could deflect one of the lasers toward the generator. Hmm. Oh, okay. Just to check. Had to make sure that actually would kill. Whoa, boy. Let's rotate the green one. No, this is not the right way. <clears throat> See, I won't go for the, nope, cannot hit the blue one from there. one nice Turn this off. Is there anything else I need to do, or can I? Mr. Silton, All right. Nope. You know what? Oh, I'm here real quick. I feel like doing a little more of that rhythm game. All right, let's do this. I feel like the timing window on this is just a little either super strict or there needs to be a little more calibration in it. I'm going to be disappointed though if it doesn't keep track of unlocked songs. Because I would love to see that Mictalica. It is hard to talk while keeping rhythm going.
All right, let's see if it kept track of my progress. Somehow I doubt it did. You know what? I just want to see if I could get that Mictalica. Hootie and the Blowfields. Here comes the rhythm. Let's just sit back and enjoy some Hootie and the Blowfield style music. Kinda wish I had like a drum controller for this instead of directional and face button input on a regular controller. Sounding great. Now you know what? We're going to see if I can unlock Mictalica. That should be like an A rank B plus. Okay, it did keep my progress on the ska sticks. Let's do some Green Day. All right, some good pop punk, you know, style. Wow, I lost the rhythm there. All right, so obviously basket case. All right, let's hear some Mictalica. Everyone's favorite Scottish metal band. Nice.
This is the weirdest version of Enter Sandman I've ever heard. More games need optional rhythm games in them. Like, as long as they're optional. Like, this year was optional. Okay. I don't know where I'm trying to... Okay, how about we jump? The office was deserted. But it looked like people had left in a hurry. Various computers had been left on. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, I didn't jump again. Find the way. So is okay. So that's the entryway. Let's go this way first. It's strange. None of the machines were totally active, but the power was still on. Oh, nope, that won't kill him. Okay, I want to head down. This will look very familiar. I would have looked around more, but we needed to find the professor. Shield? Yes. Okay, so I think that's the restroom from... I need a map. That'd take me up, yep. I could tell me why when we found him. I wish lifting these gave me something. Actually, let's go ahead and hit this first. Having a good checkpoint is never a bad thing.
and shooting up. Oh, hey, whoa, got a little anger on that throw with that basketball. All right, We've done all that. Now we go back here, go back over here. Okay, yep. There were no signs of life. If the professor was living here, he hadn't been here in a long time. Whoa! My guy is moving without input. That is not a good sign. I didn't want to leave without Mr. Silton. So where's Stilton at? How do I get him to come with me? I don't get how I'm supposed to get Mr. Stilton to come. Oh, now I get it. You'll see. a path for for him oh boy don't need that no okay this one's going to be a little trickier because I need to get Two things. All right. All right. All right. All right. We got this. I need to go on the ceiling. Or floor. It's not the ceiling. It's easy to get turned around in this game. There we go. We want to go this one over here. A large piece of machinery dropped down above. Mr. Silton smiled when I asked what we should do next. I knew straight away that he didn't mean Mr. Preston or Mr. Logan when he said, someone's gonna have to climb inside. It seemed we could use the computer to move chunks of the machine around. I knew I needed to make a clear path, as it would be me that would be going through it. All right. I am not a fan of these types of games.
Nope, not that one. Oh, this is slow. But I want to get all that junk. So we've got to There we go, grab all that junk. Let's get hit, and now we'll go here. All right. So, this time, hmm, let's see, looking at these, Trying to determine what puzzles. Alright, so this looks kind of good. No, it doesn't. Oh, I hate this type of puzzle. <clears throat> How do I do this? Okay. Okay. This is aggravating. I get it, if I want to clear out that other area, it's going to require a little finesse. Okay, 
Okay, this is going to be the... There we go. Hit that. Turn this off. Now, we can actually do this part. Because all we had to do now is this. Jump over here, jump around, go through here. Go through there. And now we get, see if it weren't for that, I would have left it. But as soon as I saw that 32K of RAM, like, I don't know what that RAM's gonna do for me. Okay, that's all right. I got the RAM, right? Yep. All right, that Um, okay. My control is really getting sloppy. Alright. Turn it back on. Now we need to do the red over to the yellow, yellow, back over there. Now we will dodge these, whoa, and then we'll turn it back on, hit the blue one up there, and there we go. And now we could go through. That was not overly complicated. As we enter the extravagant corridor, the most beautiful tune played in the distance. But almost as soon as we began to enjoy its dulcet tones, the music stopped dead. Oh. Well, time to clean up the trash. I really want to know what that 32k of RAM does for me. Is the professor dead? <clears throat> yep. Quite. everything seemed wrong. He was old, very old. Maybe 20 years older than when I got seen him. Mr. Silton sounded very sad when he said, How did anyone even get from here? I don't know what to do now. 
I suppose we'll head back to the train station. All right. It was hard to believe the professor was gone. Although he was always suspicious of me, I was sad to think I'd never see him again. Well. Oh. Is it? Yes, it is. This is the right day, said the professor as he jabbed at a small... What the? I don't know how much time I'd got to explain. He continued as a bright light began to surround everyone. Oh, not long at all. Um, I'm with Mr. Stilton on this one. Like, I am confused. This game has me constantly confused, but I'd rather be confused and amused than disappointed. And except for controls being a little wonky from time to time, I am not disappointed by this game. Nope. 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 I just feel like I should be pressing saying because it was sitting still for a while on one screen. Okay, we're time traveling now. We had reappeared just as smoothly as we had left, but we were somewhere very different. Oh. Mr. Preston and Mr. Logan were speechless, but the professor just continued studying his box. Looking back, I suppose I was rather stupid as I ended up chasing a beautiful butterfly. I was lost, but soon I realized I wasn't as alone as I thought. Um, okay, we're running. I couldn't believe we had time traveled, but there was no time to sightsee. Oh. Speed run tactics. Just keep moving. Okay. That jump seems like it should have not failed. This was one of the most valuable things I've seen. Nope. Okay, speed run tactics. So long as I don't stop, the global or the cycle in this room is perfect for me. Okay, so I can't just keep moving right there. Lesson learned. I didn't know how much this was worth, but it looked expensive. Oh, vines. I stop for an instant, scratch my eye, and what happens? I would have liked to go look around. I have to get back to the others. <clears throat> and why not 2001 A Space Odyssey? I mean, why not? I did not even catch that. If I can find the correct point in time, then I should be able to. Well, make I didn't even catch on to Preston Logan. Mr. Logan. Back to the future, replied Mr. Preston. No, excellent movie. Back to the future, too. Time bandits, time pop, terminator. Crown Vault Day. Crown Vault Day. Crown Vault Day. The box let out loud. The Mr. Professor gave it a heavy thump. This damn thing is so dependent on the maths used to calculate where the Earth is at any one point in time and space that it's almost random where we'll end up or even how long the time window will stay open. That last one was the shortest I've had yet. 
Although obviously apprehensive of our situation, I think Mr. Preston and Mr. Logan were too excited to really pay attention. But they were far less excited when I asked what his longest stay was, and the professor replied, about 15 years. I was stranded in ancient Egypt for so long. They had me build them a steam power robot. You should have seen the things they had it built. Yes, wonderful things. It was like I was both incarnate, or the modern Prometheus. Speaking of which, robot, have a look around. See if you can find anything to make a fire. Alright. Let's make us a fuck. As great as my ship <clears throat> were, they weren't much use when there was nothing for them to stick to. I rolled deep into the cave, but at least I had found the Professor some firewood. Now I just needed to get back to everybody else. Oh! Okay. So we got spiders. It may seem ridiculous, but I really did fall this far into the cave. Oh! I went way too... I went way too fast. It is hard to see in this very dark cave. Things started to look familiar. I was pretty sure I was nearly back where I had originally fallen. Do not get bonked. Got all the junk. That's good. Oh, hey, buddies. Warmed themselves by the fire. In the orangey glow, the cave even looked a little homely. Mr. Logan was much more comfortable now that he could see his surroundings. But Mr. Preston kept saying, we're in bloody dinosaur times. The professor laughed. He pointed out that there were 65 million years between dinosaurs and the emergence of man. But that just made Mr. Preston panic about possible dinosaur girls. Well, that's a good thing to panic about. I heard this kind of talk before, as he sighed when he said, Oh, I suppose you believe in ghosts as well now, do you? Well, yeah, yeah. said Mr. Preston. Barry's missus says this bloke who works with her uncle reckons his brother saw one. Fact. And with that, he began to tell the most amazing story I had ever heard. He explained how there was a man traveling through the black wall tunnel who saw a young motorcyclist stood by a smashed up motorbike. The man stopped, so the motorcyclist told him an address that when he got in the back of the car, he fell silent, clearly in shock. This isn't a ghost story, interrupted Mr. Logan. This is called giving someone a lift. Mr. Preston was old. Mr. Logan's stupid joke had ruined his train of thought. The brother of a bloke who works with Mrs. Silton's uncle gave a young motorcyclist a lift after a crash outside the black wall tunnel. I said, just happy to be part of the conversation. Yeah, that's it, said Mr. Preston as he explained that when the man arrived at the address, the motorcyclist had vanished. He said the man, not knowing what else to do, knocked on the door of the house. Soon an old lady answered, and when the man asked her if she had a son, she burst out crying and sobbed. I did have, but he died ten years ago today, just outside the black wall tunnel. I couldn't believe my audio sensors. This was concrete truth of the afterlife. I mean, Mr. Logan did point out that the story was from a children's TV show called Grange Hill, but you can't argue with the facts. Soon. The professor had finished him putting whatever the paper robots needed. Robot, he said, we need to be outside. I, I may have to go on a pause oh, coming up soon. This okay, find us a way out. So I may have to pause coming up soon. If I do, I should only be a minute. But... 
it is fair to give heads up warning that I might have to do that. Boy. Okay. Nope. Okay, let's let's slow down. Oh no. All right. Like I said, I might have to. All right. I will be right back. All right, coming back. Uh, since I hit the right button. Sorry about that, but oh, that is the worst place to come back to. But that takes care of that. All right, this time, let's go ahead and, I have no idea where we're even heading. Perfect. So I decided I would only place it where the professor said I should. Oh, uh, where? Whoa, oh. supposed to be going with this thing. Okay, there's a nerve block over there. Uh, 
All right, I think I've got this now. Ooh, no spiders. Spider bad. I do not care for spiders. In real life, that is. Pick that up. Okay, there should be a couple more blocks. Oh! Alright. Yep. Okay. Oh! I hate those things. Okay, my jump did not work. Oh boy. Okay, let's not do that big jump. Okay, let's try jumping when I ask you to. Nope. Nope. Oh no. Okay. This time what's Oh come on. Oh well, I could get another shield coming up. Okay. Over Go, go, go. All right. Now well, we've got it. No, no, don't, don't. Oh, dude, dude, why, why, why? Why'd I do that? Okay. Okay, doesn't matter. What, one more? I don't even know where... Let's pull out my binoculars. All right. Right up there. Nope, too, too quick. Oh, no, so close. Oh, now that was pretty good. All right, we got it this time. Got it, got it, and we're good. We did this. Well, I've reversed the polarity of the neutron field, so here we go. Said the professor as the glowing light surrounded us again. I have no idea why we time traveled. I don't know what this game. I like the Chrono Trigger time portal. This is it. Said the professor as he looked around. Oh no, he gasped as his expression became far more serious. It's the wrong time. Well, is it the old man as a kid? Oh. Oh, that's.
that's kind of sweet right there. I am going to go ahead and do one thing. I was beginning to think that the past was made of nothing but sand. Professor looked concerned as he examined his box. It was then he realized we were completely surrounded. Are we back in Egypt? And then seemed to think I was some kind of god, or as it turned out, some kind of sacrifice. Um, I do not know where this game is going. Like, I am so confused, but I'm enjoying it. Like, part of me is almost like, I hope this game never ends, but part of me is like... The standard type about me looked quite unstable, like it was ready to come down. Jump, jump. This seemed quite valuable. Nope. Oh, lost the shield. That's worth it. This was pretty worth something. That's okay. That's all right. I got all that goodies. Oh. Come on. There we go. Come on. Take you out. Oh no! I have been careless. Very, very careless. Not be careless. Ooh. Earthless junk, but this could be sold for a decent price. Oh boy, that's water. So I got more memory. I don't know what the memory does for me necessarily. Another shield. I'm always good with a shield. As I got to the top of the cliff, I could see everyone else being led away in heavy chains. Their extravagantly dressed captures were only moving them in a slow march, so it followed them at a safe distance. <laughs> that one, that one guard's like, I see you. ...to ask the professor something, who nodded in agreement. Although they clearly knew each other, the man in charge pushed the professor into a small wooden cage, along with Preston and Logan. The men then left. I was about to attempt to free my friends when one of the men returned with some tools. It was then I heard some machinery start in the distance, and the man left again. I then found out what the machinery was. Oh boy, it's Pharaohbot! No! 
quit throwing that way. Nope. Nope. Gotcha. 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 This ain't going to be good. Nope. Gotcha. Gotcha. Life is a state of mind. Chiba unlocked. Mr. Oh. took a chance to do something I'm guessing he thought was brave. Shouting. Catch you later, you ancient Egyptian dickweeds. This looks right. Stay here, whisper the professor, just in case. I do not know what the plot of this game is doing. I do not know what is going on right here. Whoa! And he just got murdered. The professor, his voice slowly weakening, but I knew he needed to see these things. I was always worried about the military possibilities, but I'm pleased to see your consciousness software is still going. Life is a state of mind. I had no idea what you meant, but he looked so happy. Quick, shouted Mr. Logan Pride. I jumped into a large cupboard with Mr. Preston, who whispered something about seeing some people on the security monitor. The cupboard door was pretty thick, so I couldn't really hear what was going on, but suddenly I heard Mr. Silken shout, Run! When Mr. Preston eventually opened the door, we saw a large glowing light, exactly like the one from the professor's time machine. It was only then that I realized that we had reappeared just before we had left. Ah! As we walked back to the train station, Mr. Silton was truly confused. All he kept saying was, what the bloody hell happened? I don't think any of us know that, Mr. Stilton. None of us. Nothing is too high for the daring of mortals. We storm heaven itself in our folly. Quintus Horatius Flacius, Chapter 9, Soon The Professor, R.I.P. The dusty blackboard back at Mr. Silton's house. He was explaining what was an increasingly complicated plan. And that, ladies and gentlemen, he said, is the plan of the century. I do not get what is going on with this plan. Sim, 
explained that Heather and her mum were in lab 33. He said I should find them then take them to the gate on the other side of the base. I nodded, even though I must have looked terrified. I'll need to register these two, he continued. Hopefully the guards won't notice I walked in with three robots and now only have two. He wished me luck and reminded me it was lab 33, but you only need to tell a robot something once. Alright. I can hide in a locker. the fact that <clears throat> already lost some health all right lost my shield already because of course I did oh I want to get all that junk. Okay, all junk cleared. All is good. Nope. All is not good if I do that. <laughs> Wish I had a shield. What this way? So which one leads towards the lab. Okay, those are bad robots. Can I do anything in here? Nope, it's only a warm override. Oh yeah, I don't have my boots again. Want that. Get in there. up some robots, get some junk. Okay, cannot go that way. Whoa, okay, that was close. Okay, I've got binoculars. Okay, what did I... I don't know what I just did. Okay, this is a dead end. Server room was a dead end.
So let's go to the control room. Okay, this might be a good way to go. Okay, I'm going to hope this is a good way to go. I'm just going to wait for him to walk past me. Take it nice and easy. Come on, guard. Take a look up. Take a look down. I am done with you. Get that turned off. Nope, can't do anything else here. back in here. Nope. I don't care, I won't get this junk. turn. Okay, we're just going to hang out here for a sec. Because that is a lot of junk. You know what? I didn't feel like hanging out for a sec. So instead... got this. No, no, no. Okay, let's pretend we did not do that. All right. No. Oh, I should have known that was coming. Let's get us one more shield. All right. This time, we are doing this. We are going to do this the right way. We're going to do this good. We're going to beat this. Not the game, because I don't know how many chapters are left. Like, I don't know what the overall plot is right now. To avoid setting it off anymore. Can I? Nope. Want to make sure nothing over there because I don't want to miss some junk. I have big plans for buying new stuff. The alarm override. Oh boy. I was confronted by a severe looking scientist who asked me where I thought I was going. To lab 33. Question interesting. Existential. Almost. That ain't nice. 
That ain't nice. No, don't do that. Don't do that, Horus. Oh, don't. Yay! I was so stunned I couldn't speak. Are you okay? Asked Heather. Mum told Dr. Heddle he really shouldn't force a power cycle on you robots. I don't think she recognized me. But eventually I got enough strength up to speak. However, all that came out was... Oh. As for the old lady, I don't know how, but she recognized me as soon as I walked through the door of their living quarters. both smiled when I told them how everyone else had worked together to create a distraction at the base's main gate. Well, said the old lady, we've been looking for an excuse to escape. Heather, grab your things and we'll get going. I know this isn't the end, but I like a happy ending. I like when things end up on a good note. Oh, that ain't good. Oh! Okay, this is... Um, okay, don't run. Nope. Okay, I think I got the... Nope. Okay, so he sweeps. Oh. This is going to be... He always psychs me out with that. All right. Go inside. Oh boy. No. Nope. Oh boy, this.
Oh boy. Oh, only I had a shield. better on those. Okay, my movement stopped working. I don't mind most things, I just don't... Okay, so... Okay, my movement stopped again. Oh, game, you you are so close to being a great game. Nope. I think I need to get three hits. No, I can't stand still that long. Do I need better aim on that or? I think my aim is not as good as I need it to be. This is frantic and crazy. Oh, come on. When did this game become Super Meat Boy? I mean, don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing. Oh, come on! Super Meat Boy without the precision of Meat Boy con control. Whoa, okay. My guy is moving without me even hitting the direction pad. Dang it. Come on! Okay, as soon as I finish this though, I'm going to have to be done for the night because it's getting to be about quitting time and I'm starting to lose my sanity. What the?
Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay, that'll kill me. Okay, just gotta play this smart, don't we? Nope! I'm going to take the hit there. There we go. I so wish I had a shield. Good. Okay, I need one more then. Oh. Yes! Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Oh. That was tricky. Okay. I don't know if they're in their chapter. Like, what's going on? How did I escape with difficulty? How did I plan this moment with pleasure? Alexander Dumas, Count of Monte Cristo. Chapter 11, Getting the Family Back Together. How did we get past him then? Whispered Heather as we crept closer. The old lady smiled. I'll create a distraction and you two run for it, she said. No, Mum," said Heather. "If we're leaving, you're coming too." Good call, Heather. But Mr. Logan soon solved our dilemma. <laughs> As we quietly jogged through the exit, Mr. Silton and the others tore round the corner in the van before screeching to a halt. All the while, Mr. Preston shouting and gesturing for us to get in. When things had finally quieted down, I asked Heather what was going on. It all changed after Dad died, she said, explaining that because the professor didn't want anything to do with me. The old man's financial investors split the company into 12 divisions and began manufacturing all sorts of robots. So the old man, he was actually my creator, my maker, I suppose a more poetic man might have called him, my father. So, the robots were sold to every country, Heather continued, saying that when a small skirmish in the Middle East turned into a global war, every country started using robotic troops. In the little less than a day, every country's robots realized that the other robots were not the problem, the humans were, and very logically deserted, with disastrous consequences. So the robots found peace, they, they did the Christmas truce. They played Vigima games.
I guess that explains why all of the so many people hate me. What the professor had said, all the other robots, and why no one ever wanted to talk about the war when I was around. All of a sudden, Alice shouted for everyone to hold on. We were being followed. By watermelons with laser eyes. That's what it looks like to me, at least. As soon as it gets to a stopping point, I'm going to be calling it quits because oh, save Heather don't let her go away oh Horace all right this I do not have my boots boo all right I found Chapter 11, getting the family back together. I'd found Heather and her mother. Now we just needed to escape the government lab. That sounds like a perfect place for us to call it quits. I just noticed on the far right hand side. That'd be that direction. So all the way over there on the screen, I cannot point on camera, there is bad ram two out of question mark. And that, I remember picking up the rams. So, I wonder what all that does for me? Is there a purpose? Ah, anyways, I am going to call it quits here because it is now, well, time for me to cook some dinner. It's also after quitting time. I like to do this on Mondays. Let's correct that. I like to do this on Mondays from you know, about 3.30 to about 5.30. If I go along, awesome. If things end, you know, 10 minutes short, I end at 5.20, eh, no skin off my back. But I like to be somewhat predictable and reliable, which also means being reliable in real world, which means I've got to cook dinner. So, it is quitting time. I hope you'll all join me again on Wednesday. Wednesday, I'll be back. Same time, 3.30 to 5.30. Fridays, I go a little longer, 2.30 to 5.30. Although this week on Friday, I may have to start late depending on things because of obligations. I'll figure that out more closer to Friday, hopefully by Wednesday. Let me lubricate my precious voice muscles. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope everything's going good for you. I hope the sun is out wherever you're at. Unless you don't like the sun, then I hope you have clouds, rain, whatever it is. I mean, hopefully you're just having the best of times because this world is going to get goofier and crazier, in, especially in the U.S., but also the ramifications of what the U.S. does to the rest of the world. In the next 30 days, it's even less than 30 days. Also, on that note, I just want to say I have coming up before too long Extra Life. Extra Life is going to be coming up. That one does not work. Let's go ahead and that does not work either. So, I have Extra Life coming up. Let's see if I can make this a little more readable. Um, if you want, check out extralife.org um, slash participant slash Hepinwana. Hepinwana is spelled the same way as in my Twitch channel. You will find all the details of my planned Extra Life run this year. That will be on the 7th of November, going for 24, well, 25 hours at least. There's a potential for it to go up to 28 hours, depending on how much people donate. If you keep donating, I'm going to go all night and then some. Anyways, I'll be talking more about that in the coming days or weeks or whatever. It's still three weeks and change away. Three weeks, five days, I believe. But for right now, thank you all for watching. Horus is a crazy, fun, really really interesting game. I don't want it to end, but I kind of do because there are other games I want to be playing. But let's continue on through to the end of Horus. I want you all have a great night. 
Um, and we're just going to call it quits. Um, hey, Sai. Yeah, don't worry about not chatting much tonight. By the way, I did correct Nightbot. If you feel like going crazy with emotes, I like emotes, so have at it. Um, hopefully you start feeling better, Sai. I, I can understand not feeling great. I kind of had a... This is a hard month for me overall. So, I mean, it's not feeling good, not being able to chat. It's perfectly good. You know, you just watching, you know, saying hi, you know, saying that it's been good to see you. Um, all that's awesome. And, you know, that's all we need. Just knowing people support us and what we do. So I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. Um, I would raid, but I don't think I have all that many people going on right now. I think if I shut off my stream, it'll go over for hosting to, I think it'll probably jump over to Osirion. Osirion, I am so bad at pronouncing some names, but he is currently playing Among Us, and I have a feeling that the stream will just jump over there. So thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Be good to each other. Nothing but love.